My name is Miss Kristen Dion with Before the Hype TV, live in the building here at Ultra Lounge, scouting talent for a reality TV show based out of New York. And today we have the pleasure of speaking with rapper Supreme. Hey, how you doing? Supreme is in the building. In the building. And thank you so much for being here. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Love to be here. Love to be here. Thank you. And tell us what got you started with rapping. Well, basically, it's a passion of mine that I've been doing for a long time. I've been making records for a long time. I've been on the road for a long time. I've been in bands. So basically, I just, I guess I was made to do this. You know what I'm you saying? You were made to do it. Yes, yes. I feel that, yes. It's and in I, my body. In your body. <laughs> in, in my the, soul. Yeah. In the soul. Yes. In the soul. And tell us, um, I see you have an album out. Tell us about it's it. It's a single right now. Okay. Uh, I got an album coming out. Album coming out. And okay. I have an album that I did with the band that I'm a part of. I'm the front man of a band called Supreme and the New Experience. Supreme and the New Experience. Basically, the Supreme and the New Experience is me and a band that you know that I rap, roll around with when people can afford the full production of the band. That's but in the cool. meantime, I still can promote my single. Right. I'm on the Queen of the Wobble promo tour. That's what's bringing us down here to uh, North Carolina right now Queen of the with Wobble. my brother Bruce and uh, from the Suey Hole fam. Uh -huh. And this is what we're doing this tour. We just got back from Atlanta. Uh -huh. Now we're in North Carolina, and we're going to do our thing tonight. So what's your genre of music um, outside of rap? Like, is there a certain area? I do it all. Like, even okay. my album is called Shades, All Things Shades. Covered. I done did everything. I did funk, rock, hip-hop. Okay. I've been in funk bands, rock bands. I've been a solo hip-hop artist. Wow. But, but I'm rooted in hip-hop. Like, this okay. record right here is a hip-hop record, okay. but it's a line dance record because I felt this record right here that's playing right now, uh -huh. and all the girls like to dance to it. Uh -huh. So I like to look at the girls dance to it and talk to them <laughs> while they're dancing to kind of mess them up. Okay. So, you know, I kind of put, put a concept uh -huh. of looking for someone that's the queen of the wobble. The queen Not of necessarily the wobble. being this wobble, but a new wobble. What's up? This is your girl, Miss Kristen Dion, with Before the Hype TV, live in the building here at Ultra Lounge. And we're here scouting models and artists for an upcoming reality show up in New York. And today we're also speaking with Little Chapo. Thank you so much for being here. Talking to your mic. Oh, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's up? Little... Yes, we want to hear from you here. All right, so you're a rapper. Yes. Tell us about um, your latest single. Uh, one of my latest singles, man. I, there's a there's a couple of those right there. You know, you can find me on SoundCloud. Uh, my single would be, you know, Trap Like the Fridge with Chazzy Montana. You know, you can find that on YouTube too. Okay. You know, we got a music video to that as well. We shot off Betis Four Road on the east side of town. That's what's up. Okay. And how long have you been rapping? Uh, well, you could say about like six years now. Six years. Yeah, ever since I wow. was really young, you know. I've been doing it for a while, you know. And do you write your own music? Oh, yeah, of course, you know. Started off freestyling, you know, eventually got to writing, taking it serious, you know. From there we went on, you know. Model, rapper, makeup artist, Nyla, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And so what got you started with the whole entertainment career that you have going on right now? Little, I was always the girl messing in my mom's lipstick, Aww. heels, everything. So it's always been in me. So did you start off as a makeup artist and then develop into the music and everything and modeling? I mostly started off as like a model, okay. then turn um, artist, okay. and then I started getting into the makeup more. Wow, that's pretty cool. And so um, as far as your music is, is concerned, what type of music do you do? Um, you do rap and singing as well, but what genre? Hip hop. Hip hop, mostly hip hop. Okay. Do you have any albums out right now? Not right now, but I am working on a mixtape called Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. All right. And then also tell us about your modeling career. Like, what are you doing uh, for work right now? And uh, where do you see yourself like in the next two years or so? I've mostly been like doing a lot of promotional modeling. Okay. And working with photographers just for, you know, test shoots and everything. Okay, that's pretty cool. And um, in the future, I hope to maybe one day, you know, be in a magazine. Okay, very cool. And then with the uh, production for today for the uh, reality show, uh, what is your goal with that? Did you just want to be showcased or do you really want to, uh, you know, be up in New York doing your thing as a model and for the reality show? Um, anything that really comes my way, I'm willing to take like any opportunity. Kristen Dion with Before the Hype TV live in the building here at Ultra Lounge. And today we're scouting talent for a reality TV show coming out of New York, looking for models and artists and all of the other entertainers in the world. And today we have Charles, comedian who loves. He is a comedian who loves. 
So tell us more about your work as a comedian who loves. Um, I think in holistically, I'm an entertainer because okay. I'm also a musician. I also oh, cool. sing. I sing a lot during my comedic sets. Okay, so, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So what? So R&B. So what type of music do you sing? Mostly gospel, but gospel, I dabble okay. in soul and R&B. Very nice. And so um, singing gospel. So what type of comedian are you? Um, I wouldn't say I'm a Christian comedian, but I'm pretty clean. Okay, pretty clean. All right, and uh, where can we find some of your work for your music and your comedy? Um, I have a YouTube page. Mm -hmm. It's Charles McMurray or Chugga2011, C-H-U-G-G-A-2011. Okay. You can see all my stuff on there. Okay, and uh, what is your goal tonight? Like, Are you trying to go up in New York and turn it out um, through the reality show, or do you just want to be seen tonight and just let people know who Charles is? I'm just trying to make people laugh. If, if, if I can make everybody feel good for about five minutes, I'm good. Ultra Lounge with Before the Hype TV Live. And today we have the pleasure of speaking with all around entertainer and poet Lovely. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so tell us about what you do. I am, first and foremost, a poet. Okay. Um, been writing since I was about 12. Wow. <laughs> I am a visual artist. I paint, do a lot of 2D art. Very I nice. also uh, make jewelry. I manage artists. Um, I'm one part of two team. And I'm also part of Abstract Academy Entertainment. She does everything. Yes. And so tell us about your jewelry line. Wow. So um, I mainly do beadwork, um, but I'm. Most recently, within like the last year or so, mm -hmm. I got into a lot of wire work. Okay. So I have uh, what I call extreme links, which are very long <laughs> uh, copper wire jewelry. Nice. Um, I do different types of steel as well, like steel jewelry, um, just everything. I, I kind of mm -hmm. just let my creativity flow. Wow. Um, also well known for my rings. I do big, bold, huge rings. Wow. So I enjoy that. Ladies, hit me up. Fellas too. Where do we find your jewelry? You can go to my site, lovely.com. That's L-U-V-L-E-E-H.com. Just hit me up com. and I can get you paintings. I can get you books, whatever you need, everything. These are all customized. Everything's customized. Wow. Everything original. This is your girl, Miss Kristen Dion, before the Hype TV live in the building here at Ultra Lounge, scouting talent, artists, and models for an upcoming reality show in New York. And so today I have the pleasure of speaking with rapper Bruce. Yes, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm always good. I'm always good. I'm happy good. to hear that. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So tell me, how long have you been rapping? I mean, I've been in the, in the game since I was 15, so wow. yeah, this has been my only job forever, so yeah, okay. this is what I do. And um, I see you have an album here, Bruce, yeah. a stand-up guy. Stand tell up us about guy. the album. I mean, stand-up guy in, in every form of the word, you know what I'm saying? My, my word is my bond, so you know, I just had to put it in project form, you okay. know, so okay. the album doing well, you know what I mean? It's been out for a few months. But okay. it's doing well, so you know and you I'm happy with it. you have a music video out right now? <laughs> yes, it's for Welcome to the Jungle. It was the first C um, single off the CD. Okay, what's yeah. that song about, Welcome to the Jungle? Um, I'm from Philly. <laughs> it's, okay. it's the jungle, you know, Philly? so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you know. So it's just it, more about your life up in Philly? For sure. Okay, for sure. Okay. Yes. okay, and tell us, uh, where can we find your work outside of, you know, getting your CD? Um, you. you know, I got a, a fan page on uh, Facebook. It's okay. Bruise, B R U I Z. Okay. Um, my fit, my page is Keith Bruise Outlaw. Okay, okay. And um, I got a reverb. It's Bruise. Everything. Okay, you know, everything you is Bruise. Yeah, everything is Bruise. B R U I Z. Bruise I love me. in the building. Yeah. My name is Miss Kristen Dion with Before the Hype TV, live in the building here at Ultra Lounge. Speaking with now Cap Dallas, we're scouting for talent here for a upcoming reality TV show in New York. And so tell us, Cap Dallas, what got you started with rapping? I mean, I've been interested in it ever since I was like 14 years old. Word, okay. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I most like old school rap, you know, so. That, you know, hearing that in my childhood just made me, made me realize that I got a passion for music. Wow. And tell us, do you have any um, singles or albums out right now? Uh, yeah. Actually, right now, I got a, uh, I just dropped a single with a video. It's called uh, Thick Wallet. Thick Wallet? Yeah. Okay, you, where can, you can we find it? Find it on YouTube. Anyway, just Google it, whatever. It'll pop up and stuff. Okay. Uh, also, I just dropped a, another single today. It's called um, Tatted Up. Tatted Up? Yeah. Okay. Because I love tattoos, so. Okay. Yeah. 
And so what's next in your career? Like, what is your career goal as a rap artist? Um, I'm trying to reach a million. That's all I can say right now. I feel you on that. Um, is there anyone in the industry that you would like to work with? Uh, Kanye. Kanye. Yeah, I love Kanye West. Yeah, yeah. he got some production. Yeah. yeah, I feel you. And so tell us as well, uh, what's your goal here tonight? Like, are you trying to be on the reality show? Or you just want to get a showcase tonight? I mean, really a matter of both. Uh, I mean, I would love to be in a reality show, don't get me wrong, you know. But, hey, I'm just, I'm just here to do something. So. Okay, okay. And what is your uh, style of rap? Um, well, I be I be mixing it up sometimes. I be doing some rap, um, some English with some Spanish and stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. that's hot. Yeah, I, so, sometimes though, but usually I, I, I like rapping in English. Okay. Live in the building here at Ultra Lounge, and we're scouting talent for models and artists and entertainers for an upcoming reality show in New York. And today we have the pleasure of speaking with Kahara J. She is a model and an owner of a modeling agency, Vivacious Models. It was more of like a hosting service, a hosting but service. we use plus size models because I also market and promote for them. So how long have you been modeling? I've been modeling for four years. Four years, okay. And um, what is your career like? Like, What's a day like in your shoes as a model? Hard work. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> you know, it's really harder for plus size models to even find gigs. And even when we do try mm -hmm. to find gigs, you know, people just, you know, even though we're cute, we have the bubbly spirit and we have the cute face, but nine times out of ten, designers don't cater to us. Okay, gotcha. So it's even harder for us to find things. So that's why I created Vivacious Entertainment, uh -huh. so that we could create our own jobs. 